Epsom. And the Pathé News team are there already, setting up their cameras all around the mile and a half course for the greatest race in the world. When they arrive, there's hardly a soul in sight. But a few hours later, and hey presto, 200,000 people who have already forgotten they'd been worrying about the rain, which never happened. All they're interested in now is having a wonderful time till 3.25, when the tapes go up on the richest race in the history of the British turf. Plenty to do for everybody, whatever their approach to the occasion. You too can ride a horse of sorts, or you can spend your time counting buttons, or studying fashions of various kinds, and in aid of various causes. The menu, of course, is strictly traditional. <laughs> For a moment, I thought I'd spotted Groucho Marx. And this chap thinks he's found a way of spotting the winner. Oh, well, it's probably as good a way as any, though there are plenty of people ready to persuade you they've got better ways. No, I thought it wasn't Groucho. And with all respect to the ladies, I doubt if we'll pick a winner here. Though there is a horse called Twist One in the 4.30. Back to the matter in hand. Prince Monolulu knows the winner, of course. And he'll tell you if you ask him nicely. The dub is always a royal occasion. And today, the royal family are here in force. Though for once, there's no royal horse on the car. Princess Alexandra's here, and Mr. Angus Ogilvy. Pop singer Billy Fury owns Anselmo, quoted at 101. Not enough fans in the crowd to bring the odds down, apparently. The Queen and the Duke of Norfolk in the paddock, looking at the 17 runners. There's Santa Claus, the Irish train favorite. President Ibrahim Aboud of the Sudan is a guest of the Queen. He sees the favorite mounted by champion jockey Scobie Breezley. There's Hot Roy, number nine, Jeff Lewis up. And now the runners are leaving the paddock for the rest of the 200,000 racegoers to have a look at them while the royal party make their way back to the stand. The going may be fine for horses, but it's a bit rough on stiletto heels. American-owned Con Brio's giving Ron Hutchinson a lively ride already. Santa Claus again, followed by Baldrick II of French trade. Balustrade and Cora Four, the other French hope. Not long to go now, and anyone who hasn't made up his mind had better sing fast. Now they're coming out of the lane, and very soon they'll be under starter's orders. Penny Stall, number 11, Conbrio, number 1, Sweet Moss, number 14, and Cold Slipper, number 10. And looking quite calm and self-possessed, a favourite, number 7, Santa Claus with Scobie Breezley. No one showing signs of temperament. With any luck, it may be a first-time start. And it is. Balustrade, one of the four maidens, is first in the lead as they go into the rising curve. 150 feet to climb in the first half mile. Passing the milepost and heading for the left turn of the bushes, with every man jockeying for a good position before they're hugging the rails. Troy disputing the lead nearest the camera. Baldrick the second close behind. Indiana in fourth place. Dilettante is there too with Balustrade and Drummerland. Down the hill towards Tattenham Corner where derbies are lost and won. Who's got strength in reserve for that last grueling half mile? Indy 
Adriana moving up. He's in third place now and gaining fast. Yes, Indiana's taken the lead. And here's another challenge. Santa Claus coming up on the outside. A furlong to go. And he's pressing Indiana hard. Can he make it? And with yards to go, Santa Claus is in front and wins by a length. With Indiana second, Dilettante third and Anselmo fourth. What a finish for everyone but the bookies. And what a day for champion jockeys, Kobe Breezley. The 50-year-old veteran, twice a grandfather, 13 times a derby rider, and now at last a derby winner. Maybe it took Gordon Richards 28 tries, but then he was only 49 when he made it. A masterly race, won above all by brilliant riding, time to a split second. And for owner Mr. John Ismay, whose last visit to Epsom was in 1922, a cool £72,067. Pounds. The biggest derby prize of all time. How's that for a present from Santa Claus in June?